Hello, my name is Tarek Karaja, and this is my speech. Why people have different opinions about subjects? Thinking about it, all my friends have different tastes about things. Some like football, others like swimming, and some don't like sports at all. For example, one of my friends asked me if I wanted to go and play football with some of his friends. I automatically refused. I did not like the idea of playing football with a bunch of strangers I did not know. That's what I told him. But then it hit me. It was not because I did not want to play with strangers, but I did not like football overall. What I had told him was just my way of getting out of the situation. I would have refused even if it was with people I knew. So why was that? Why did I not like football? Was it because I thought it was a boring sport? Maybe. But the real reason was that my experiences caused me to have doubts about football being fun. As in my eyes, football was just a bunch of people screaming at each other whilst chasing a ball. In my friend's eyes, it was a fun social activity with him and his friends. He had invited me because he thought, if it is so much fun with me, there must be so much fun for everyone else. Whilst in my experience, it was a boring sport. There are other factors that affect our experiences, such as the environment, for example. If I would have grown up in an environment where football was highly valued, probably I also would have liked football. Another factor is how we grew up, in terms of gender, for example. Girls, from the moment they are born, they get different toys than us boys. Instead of balls, they are given dolls and doll houses, or kitchen tools. This is why women tend to be less inclined to play sports and more inclined to reading books or playing other kinds of games. Wealth is also a factor to be mentioned. In poorer countries, football is very often more valued than in richer countries. This does not just affect sports, but also our tastes in music, arts, and even food. For instance, rap is more popular in poorer areas than it is in richer ones. And it is most likely that in richer areas, people listen to Beethoven and Mozart. Representation is also a factor. The things people like and dislike are also a way of showing their culture. People carry their culture, so judging them by their likes and dislikes is immoral. Since this applies to everything, it is important to think before we act or judge someone for their tastes and opinions. They might have bad experiences in the past, and that might be why they do not agree with us. Furthermore, we should not forget that taste is not just a choice, but also a self-presentation. If someone says that he loves to visit art galleries and museums, he also tells us something about his identity, maybe a social standing. That is why judging people's tastes is more than just judging choices. It also concerns their identities. On the other hand, our environment can change our tastes. If we are part of a group who dislike museums, we would probably not tell them that we do like museums, even if we truly do. That may also change our opinions on museums if we keep belonging to that group and represent ourselves as part of that group. Or we can make a distinction to the group. As I did when I refused my friend's offer to join a group of people chasing behind a ball or to put it in my friend's perspective, having fun playing football. Thank you for listening to my speech.